You're listening to Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. 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 Okay, welcome to episode 10 of season 9. Talking Raptors, Barry Taylor here with Nick Reynolds. How you doing? I'm doing good, buddy. Broadcasting as always on Raptors Republic, RaptorsRepublic.com. One six, another six, six of a six. Drake, here's the royalty money. Anything, anything popping with our global ambassador? He's laying low, but a couple weeks ago he popped up. He was in Miami. And he was uh, playing a little one-on-one with Kyle. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Like at the arena? At the arena. I mean, I would... I think that makes sense, though, right? He, he uh, bricked a three, and that's, uh, that's all the video they showed. <laughs> Kyle that's laughed nice. at him, and that, and that was about it. <laughs> that's nice. That's all. You can't even get mad at the. I mean, he still he did not he did not vote for anybody, which I no. did, don't like. It's a bit weird. It's hard to criticize him when he's not allowed at the arena, but well, yeah. But it is odd that he didn't post anything at all. Yeah, especially for for Fred, man. It's very weird. Thing one: we're off for a week. We're back. It's been a bit of an up and down couple downs the thing that stood out the most you would think during that time was the focus for the most part on the seven-man rotation got a lot of got a lot of chatter yeah a lot of attention yeah he did nick nurse did loosen it up a little bit i think well during the the wizard game it was a hilarious loosen up just because it was uh it was like japanese heritage night and it was the first time that yuda and rui hachimura could play together with you to be on the Raptors. That's incredible. See, I actually missed that game, so I didn't know any of this. Well, you only gave him six minutes. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Japan. You fucking happy? <laughs> oh, yeah. that's that's nice. It wasn't like a, it was a feature thing for uh, Nick Nurse. He could care less. Yeah. And then it's and then speak it, the game, the following game, the Portland game, I actually missed the first half because I was driving home and got home in the world. Like, they were yeah. down 30. Well, what a half to miss, buddy. Yeah. But then the comeback seemed, you know, legit. Like it, it was, was right there. It was there. It was there. But what what are your thoughts on the old uh, the old seven man rotation there? What are you what are you thinking? God, players suck. What are you, you're not gonna get, you're not is? gonna get on the court. <laughs> it seems it's bold. It's a bold move by Nick Nurse. I think it's like also like a, a, a he's kind of like saying it without saying it to Masai and Bobby. Like, hey man, mm-hmm. these are the guys that are good. Yeah. We had a couple more guys to <laughs> help what, us out here. It would be nice. Josh Lewenberg wrote a good article about that, saying that basically, where he's just like, it's a statement to A, upper management, like you just said, and then yeah. B, the other players, where they're just like, yo, you're not good enough. Yeah. So uh, you can full on, full on Masai Ujiri speaking to Stanley Johnson, you're no good. You're, no, you're not a good <laughs> basketball player. <laughs> a, Get better at basketball. <laughs> what a statement that was. Too. Well, that's so gangster. Yeah. And to, for for Stanley even just to be like positive about it, he's yeah. like, no one would ever say that to my face. And yeah, well, you, it either leaves you two options, right? You sulk or you get better. And Stanley, uh, I don't know. I'm not watching the Lakers. I, I enjoy them it's, burning. Yeah, it's pretty good. The Nick Nurse stuff is very bold, though. It's very much a f you to multiple people. It seems like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not good enough yet. <laughs> like Del- Delano is like a. He needs some time. <laughs> he does. He's got to grow, man. There's a couple, and again, in the Portland game, he looked okay, and then he had a turnover that was terrible, and you're like, oh, God, yeah, man. Yeah, that's they, and they're but, short leashes, man. All these yes. guys are in short leashes. Yeah. Are you a fan of Nick Nurse going kind of postal? Yeah. I I like it, man. Like, I, uh, something's got to happen, right? Like Interesting. He, he loves... Uh, Champagne, as he should. Yeah, like that kid. That kid as is. Do I? That kid's in the rotation now, right? Dude, he's good. He I is know. really, really good. He's also seems like the only guy off the bench that can hit like a set three point shot. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what if you're coming off the bench, not you can't score? You're turning the ball over. You're missing defensive assignments. Like, what do you screw it? We're gonna run these guys into the ground. I don't trust you. We 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 don't want. We're trying to win games, you know what I mean? It's not like we're pissing away for a draft pick. It's like, well, mm-hmm. let's go win. Is there any, are you worried at all about the amount of minutes that 
those seven players are getting, though? Yes, me and Eric <laughs> Flynn are very worried about Fred fucking Dude. playing a lot of minutes. But here's the thing. They asked Fred about that, and he's like, no, no, no one's playing minutes we don't want. He's like, oh, if I didn't okay. want to go play these minutes, I wouldn't play these goddamn minutes. Interesting. Yeah, so they... Because his last couple games, he's he's been... He looks tired. Yeah, and his shooting's been a bit off mm -hmm. from what it was, but w which would make sense from the fatigue, you know? So Yeah, and it's also it's like, I mean, he needs to be amazing for us to win games, but it's also, uh, let's get him into, into the All-Star game. Mm -hmm. Like, that's definitely in these guys' brain, right? Like, they all love him. They all want him to go to the All-Star, so, like, go, yeah. go fucking ball out, dude. That's a good point. He and Pascal Siakam deserve to be All-Stars. Siakam is unbelievable yeah. right now. He is unfreaking believable They oh, yeah. had a graphic up in one of the last games, and he's ahead of all of his stats from his all NBA second team season. All of his stats except points are down by I think two points and his three point percentage is down slightly. But everything else is up. Mm -hmm. And that was his, you know, 2019, 2020 coming out, getting that money, making all NBA second team. Max player, baby. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna throw out something wild right now. I kinda sorta feel like maybe he deserves the all star ahead of Fred. Woo! Yeah, yeah, controversy right there. I'm just because he's been a little more consistent mm -hmm. in the past two months, and the last week and a bit, Fred's dipped. It's it's just I mean I understand what you're saying because it does feel like Siakam does more. He's unbelievable. He's uh, fucking amazing. It's do you think it's incredible? Fred became such a number one that then he slid to number two, which is as we all know his his best spot, and then he's just kind of hanging there. Yeah, I think so. And then having OG as the third option, and then Scotty and Gary. That we always talk about this, but that is a crazy starting five. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's awesome. I mean, every we do except when we play Portland. We are gonna Detroit. have yeah. The big centers are still like it's fucking a lot to ask for <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. a rookie or a Pascal. Like you gotta guard the seven footer who weighs a shit ton more than you, and he's gonna elbow you in your chest over and over again. So mm. it was a lot of ups and downs. Still staying positive, though. Still feel good. Yeah. And let, you know what? Siakam's been to the All-Star game. It's all right if he doesn't make it this year. He'll be back next year. Let's get Fred in there. I feel that. And I, I hope... Uh, you know when people come back from the All-Star game and they're just fucking exhausted? From, <laughs> no, yeah. They're kind of shit for a whole month after. <laughs> yeah. I hope that doesn't happen because we are, we are not going to... We're not going to hold up well. I mean, the good news is, is that the game's in Cleveland. So the nightlife is going to be... Just you know. gonna be hanging out with Jake Paul, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's not. They're not in Miami, thank God. <laughs> yeah. So, all in all, still feeling good about the team. It's gonna be good when Drake doesn't go to the All Star. Fred gets in, and Drake, he's like, "I'm not going to Cleveland, bro. <laughs> Just, you already, I didn't even fucking vote for this guy. I'm not going to Cleveland. You're out of your mind." Yeah. Still feel good about everything in general, despite the the losses, and you know, the losses they're all close. Like we're there. You know, like we're right. Like we're even like the Dallas loss, we're right there. You know. And, <sighs> That one, that one hurt a lot. That one was uh, that tape of Scotty turning his back to, to Luca is uh, it is not good. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, especially that guy who's usually mm -hmm. such a great defender. You're like, what? Like, he dared him to shoot. It's Luca, of all guys. And you saw Nick Nurse snap. He's like, what the fuck is he doing? As he should. Yeah. Rookie mistake, I guess. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure he got fucking cussed out about that. And the other thing was, though, he, Scotty, and Luca were going back and forth mm -hmm. for a little bit, which was even more interesting because then I was like, oh, is this like a... It was just bizarre when you're like, why did you let him shoot that? Like, you don't, you never, you don't do that. You haven't done that your whole time here. Yeah, you know? that's why let not that man? Precious that you was shooting a three that you would let him, <laughs> but look, what do you do? That's not Russell Westbrook. Like, yeah, that man. Yeah. And he did what he did. Yeah, that was tough. That's those are those are the that's the rookie mistakes that you're, yes. you're gonna see like, roll with those punches. shit like that and you're gonna get cussed out and hey won't happen again and bounce know? back well I hope not still think we're making the playoffs yeah we'll see about this week coming up <laughs> give me a still, big big week coming up still beating the Heat in seven oh buddy <laughs> not this week yeah no no not talk this, to me next week not this version not us <laughs> right now yeah ah, fuck get some ice packs on Freddie's knees let him rest a little bit. Um, also, uh, a couple, I don't know if this was last week or the week before. I don't know. Time doesn't exist anymore, so no. it's hard for me to keep track of what happened when. Um, 
But god damn, I think uh, Goran Dragic was uh, shooting at a heat facility. That's funny. I mean, that could be an eight man. You could an eight yes, man rotation, no, right. you know? Definitely, definitely. I think it's it seems like the management and that just made a great move where they're like, why are we going to give this guy any minutes? He's going to be gone either this season or next for sure, but realistically this season. But do you think in their mind they were like, by sending him, you can go to Sl- Slovenia and fucking hang out. That's going to it's gonna open up some minutes for the young guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Nick Nurse is like, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not going to open up uh, any minutes for anybody. Just, you're at your fucking mind. Yeah, you're just going to add those minutes to Fred. So. Yeah. Take care. Because I'm sure Malachi was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay in Slovenia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Manager's like, we'll open up the minutes. Nur- nursery is like, no. Yeah. <laughs> just shuts it down. Shuts it down. Uh, you can open up whatever you want. Doesn't mean I got to step through that door, brother. <laughs> Does not mean that at all. Uh. Thing two. Nice little segue there. Mm-hmm. Let's get into it. Arguably the biggest story of the past week and a half is the one and only Sir Eric Flynn. Eric You can Flynn. only hold the man quiet for so long. Uh, dude, I don't, I'm surprised it took this long for this man to be... It's true. ...to lose his fucking mind. So he posted in the group. He posted in... Which is... Don't join the group. It's... Uh, I don't... I hate being in it. Yeah. It's filled with people that do not watch basketball, and it's uh, it's either trade Pascal or he's getting in Scotty's way or fire Nick Nurse and just fucking madness. Yeah. Okay. But uh, much much like Facebook, basically. Yeah. Not not a lot of Raptor nations coming from Eric Flynn these days. <laughs> Raptor nation can go fuck. Yeah. Itself. He's he's fucking. He's a, he's a what nation? Only seven guys are in this nation. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's a village now. Yeah. <laughs> this is a cul-de-sac. Raptors village lowercase. Um he so this is this is from this is from Eric Flynn. Um I pray for Nick Nursery. Nursery. Which Great. off the top Great. fantastic. Great move, Eric. Cuz I'm like I don't even know if that's uh on purpose or not. Like I don't think it is, could but be, it could be on purpose. Could be an autocorrect or it could be But you think a nursery would be like an incubating like helping young guys grow, right? So maybe mm. it's like sending that shot. You're like you're not doing you're okay. no you're no nurse. <laughs> see, I see it more as a a shot at Nick Nurse being the child, you know? Like Ooh. he's like he's the infant. I got it. That needs to be looked after. He's a baby, if you will. Yeah. Anyway. He won't play anyone with red hair. He's got this weird thing. (laughs) He's like, I I pray for Nick Nursery, but the way he has treated my son, I wouldn't treat a dog that way. Malachi Flynn is a better person than he is a basketball player. And why would you treat a good person that way? I mean, it's tough to argue. Well, we didn't... This is what I'll say. We didn't didn't draft him to be a good person. (laughs) That's a great point. Draft him to be a good basketball player. So if he's a better person than he is basketball player maybe he start being a little bit more mean yeah, yeah that's and better at basketball that's part of your son's problem there eric yeah he's uh spending more time on his manners than his <laughs> fucking jump shot or something you know <laughs> he's a wonderful kid terrible terrible <laughs> yeah, basketball. Yeah. I, I think you and i are nice people but uh, yeah, yeah. We're, and we're way better people than we are basketball players we so. also would not get minutes on this uh in exactly. this rotation yeah and uh the thing about eric flynn is this is he's replying to people mm-hmm. in this group. Th- th- these have been since deleted, but the internet shit lives forever. That we doesn't... got the screenshots. God yeah. damn it! And so sorry, he said I wouldn't treat a dog that way. What's why would you treat a dog that way? I just I it was very was... very dramatic. Like what did Nick Nurse say to your son that your mm-hmm. son told you behind closed doors that made you compare what? him to an, an animal? Yeah, and but it's a dog. Who treats dogs bad? Uh, like, you got to be a piece of shit to, you know, y- yeah. like, I wouldn't treat a dog that way. I'd hope not. No, especially Eric. in North America. He, oh, yeah. No. Dogs are treated great. Okay. But he uh, he also goes on. He he uh, shout out to Ravi, our, our, our boy Ravi here. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, we all know if the war this is this is Eric Flynn replying to Ravi about, hey, Nick Nurse is, uh, you know, fucking championship coach. What, what's going on here? It's a good point, Ravi. Uh we all know if the Warriors had been without, I'm sure he means with, KD and Clay, they would have swept the Raptors. That's where you crossed the goddamn line, Eric. Sorry, just to make sure we got this right. Eric Flynn is saying if the Warriors had Clay and KD, 
they sweep the Raptors. That's that is correct. That is from I'm, Eric Flynn's Facebook account. I can I can say this confidently. Eric Flynn is fucking dead to me. Yeah. And so I, is Malachi by Malachi, proxy. you can get shipped the fuck out, buddy. We're done. It, it, I, I have zero time for anyone that brings that argument to the table because it's the laziest, dumbest fucking argument yeah. of any basketball fan ever. You As play just, who's in front of you, goddammit. Exactly. Eric Flynn can can eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> I'm not praying for him. I'm not doing... He's done. No. He's done. Anyone that has that opinion, I have zero time for your lazy... And you probably don't actually watch basketball. No. You know what I mean, Eric? Ah, oh, that's uh, he's he's done. Well, he definitely wasn't watching the Raptors uh, that season. That's for sure. Exactly. You yeah. Don't, you don't know nothing about the team prior to that. Yeah. No. It's uh, what a disaster. And to do it in a weird Facebook group where it's, why would you think this is a good idea to do? Hmm. Is it to spur like, or do you, are you just unaware that this would cause, like this wouldn't get out. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a good question. He was probably just heated. He, oh, for sure, yeah. Right, but, um, dude, that I get, I just um, I can't get past the the KD Clay comment. That's the dumbest. There was a rumor, or there's an article today that said Malachi could be potentially being shopped. Yeah. Now, deadline. what came first, the chicken or the egg? There. <laughs> I, hey, get him the fuck out. Yeah. And blame his dad. But it, like the thing is, maybe Malachi loves being like around Fred, and he's like, no man, like I'm patient. I'm learning these things. I'm I'm getting there. And his dad's fucking losing his mind. That's you know what? That's too bad. Yeah. For, well, hey man. For Malachi, I'm sorry, Malachi. You, you're a great player. Blood is thicker than water, sir. Goodbye. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, you choose, Malachi. Do you want to stick with your dad, or do you want to stick with this franchise? So. I can't get past it. I'll never get past that. No, it's crazy. It's crazy talk. I don't take the man seriously. I mean, not that we ever. Took well, I don't him think we ever did. Yeah, but, but I mean, I can't. At least before it was fun. You know, now it's not fun. Yeah, when he's talking about bags of trash in the mirror and shit, <laughs> that was all great. Now it's now it's you, you cross the line here, buddy. I'm sorry, Malachi. Maybe he's he maybe he's a good person. He seems like a good person. He does. Seems really, like he's a quiet a really good, kid. He's a really good basketball player, too. Yeah. It, it is weird that he's not getting any minutes. Let's be honest here. <laughs> it's it's it fucking is. weird. Yeah. The, well, the, it's weird that no one's getting any minutes. Yeah, because he should get five minutes. Something. Anything. You're telling me you can't rest Fred for five minutes throughout the 48? You know, maybe four minutes. I don't know. Something. Maybe one, one minute would be nice. He doesn't a even minute. get in like at the he gets nothing. Like, garbage time. He doesn't get garbage time. He gets nothing. Yeah, which is, uh, hey, man. Something's gonna happen. That's too bad. That's that's uh, Eric Flynn, buddy. You're you're a horrible man. You're you're cooked, buddy. That's yeah. it. And I, you know what? I'm thinking about going to join that group just to light up Eric Flynn. Hop on in, buddy. You'll fucking want to kill yourself uh, within 30 <laughs> minutes uh, reading <laughs> any post that anyone's ever made in that group. I got time. Okay. If if you're if you you know you're you're taking a a long bath or something and you want to read <laughs> 350 <laughs> comments. <laughs> It's a, it's a good group to belong to, man. Just hop in the tub with my iPad. Yeah, and... every once in a while, Eric Flynn will pepper in something <laughs> fucking insane about women refs. And... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's we, right. We, hey, man, we've been giving hints that this guy was was not well uh, for uh, at least a year. So okay. yeah. you can go back and check the tape because it's out there. Still hasn't uh, accepted my friend request. I hope when Malachi gets traded, he accepts it. Three things. Thing three. The all-star jerseys leaked. They sure did. The all-star voting is complete. Let's start with the jerseys. They went simple. We can say that. Yeah. What are your what are your thoughts on the there's the white one and the red one? Or the gray, sorry. Gray. Yeah, gray and and reddish. I kinda I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like the simplicity though. You yeah, know? yeah. It's timeless. Last, you know? Did you see uh uh, Kanye West's jerseys. The dun- yeah, and they're on the cover of Slam. Yeah, I saw that. Which is, yeah, and they're the plain white, plain just with a dove on them. That's pretty dope. Don- Donda's doves. I like that. You let so you do like the symbol. Like I think, I don't know, man. I really feel like Nike's fucking dropping the ball on a lot of the shit. Do you like the Donda ones? They're all fine, but they look like they don't look like a professional jersey. Like they. Dude, uh, the, the Raptors Republic tournament jerseys are better than a lot of these jerseys. <laughs> and those are fucking reversible yeah. pennies, right? Like <laughs> I I don't know. I like the Don I like the simplicity. I think it's good. The all star ones are they're okay. They're not The Donda ones look like when you uh create your own jersey. It's like one of the templates that you get and you're supposed mm. to add to it. 
Mm. And and he just never added he to it. He just never added. No. <laughs> okay. And the all star ones you're just not feeling? I, I the all star ones I always like uh I don't think I've ever liked the leak version of anything. Like when you see them on on the players like during the game, I'll I'll be able to give a better if I like them or not, you know? Okay. Do you have a favorite all star jersey from back? Uh like the San Antonio say, ones. That, that, was, that was exactly what I was going to say. Those, those were my nice. favorite ones. And I like that San Antonio brought those colorways back to their jerseys this year, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. There was a teal one, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that that one is my favorite all-star jersey. Fucking pretty gangster. Good. I think that's... That one's up there for sure. The New York ones were pretty good, too. The simple... The, or sorry, New York, Brooklyn, that week. Was yeah, okay. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. that was. Those ones are pretty good, too. But I would rather go on the side of less like less is more you know simpler yeah me personally yeah yeah these are i mean they're fairly simple it's just yeah. all star three stars on each side the gray is weird though yeah it's, like gray and red what does that have to do with cleveland i don't know well, that's a yeah fucking what does that have to do with cleveland you know? what is cleveland known for rock and roll hall of fame rock and roll hall of fame the browns there you go mm. lebron lebron just put fucking lebron's face on the all star jersey <laughs> So you should have done, you idiots. <laughs> Just a giant <laughs> both teams cartoon too, of yeah. his face. Yeah, yeah, both. Every jersey. He gets to pick both the teams for both. He gets to pick his team and who he's playing against too. Yeah, sell it as an NFT. Make Sorry, it your... Giannis, but not... No, it's KD, right? KD's leading the... Is it KD or Giannis that's leading? Uh... It's Braun now. Braun lost... But that's in the West. I, I think Braun's leading everything. He's leading them all? You're right. So it's going to be Braun and then who from the... Oh, from the East. Uh, I can't oh, remember. For the pick. For Are the they picking. Dry? Yeah. Yeah, but I think that, that all stays the same. It's got to... Oh, no. I think it's DeRozan, actually. No? No. Leading the East? I think so. No, it's not. There's no fucking way in hell it's DeRozan leading the... He might be leading the guards, but he's not leading in total votes. You're right. The East, Kevin Durant, followed by Giannis, followed by DeMar. DeMar's third. What were we even talking about? Uh, the So it'll be, it'll be LeBron picking for... Oh, and then Team I guess, West and then KD. I guess Giannis. Well, no. KD's injured though, right? Oh my fucking god, I forgot. Yeah, which sucks again, man. Hate, dude. It's a knee sprain though, right? He's nothing. He's he's four to six weeks, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take their time with him, I guess. Here's another controversial take. Do you not think if KD was healthy, his whole career? Okay, no. Let me say this. Let me put it this way: If you were starting a franchise. And you could have anyone that's in the league right now in their prime. Who would you take? Would it? Would you take LeBron? I guess is the obvious pick. Yeah, I might take KD. I'm not mad at that, dude. He is. If he his career is just so fucked up because of all the, you know, movement and everything. Well, it's because he, he went to the Warriors. Yeah, like, literally, that's what it is, right? Like you're exactly. gonna have to wait 15 years from now. I know when you're long and done before we really appreciate you without you're getting fucking snake snake emojis every every post you make on because he's got on anything. He's could be better than LeBron. Do you know what I mean? Like it's I that, understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's just yeah. Anyway. I just I was thinking that the uh, when I heard he got injured again, I was like I was I was genuinely upset. I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like, no, no. I hate I hate I. It sucks, man. I I don't like when any of these guys get injured. I, I like watching basketball. I yeah, want the best exactly. guys to play basketball. But especially him, like I, that's when it kind of hit me. I was like, this guy could without these injuries and the movement and everything, he could could have gone down. Like he would have been in the conversation for sure. Like yeah. it'd be like LeBron, KD, and Michael. You know? Oh, yeah, I think he'll still be there. I mean, the, well, what's crazy is like I'm. I'm I mean, KD's got you know health like let's hope he fucking stays healthy he's got a mm -hmm. lot more years of fucking god willing yeah yeah definitely, definitely and lebron doesn't seem like he's slowing down either but oh man he's he's awesome but now looking at the all-star voting with unfortunately kevin durant out that again sucks but if you look at the front court Giannis, of course is going to be there joel Embiid, of course is going to be there but then You've got one, two, three dudes ahead of Pascal Siakam. Who are the who are ahead? You got your Jason Tatum, who's having an off year. Shouldn't shouldn't be the going. But he is a Boston Celtic, so that's not good. Jimmy Butler, he'll be there because he just what day is today? Monday. On Sunday, he set the Heat's franchise record Take for triple that, doubles. Take that, LeBron. Dude's been <laughs> fucking. How is that possible? It's crazy. Put, triple doubles. Put Jimmy's face on the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Butler will be there 
And then the only other person, but this kind of sucks, that's ahead of Siakam is Jared Allen. Yeah, and he's in Cleveland too, Home right? So, yeah. It's tough. It's tough. The only other person that could be a problem is Bam Adebayo because Miami's doing so well. But he was injured a lot of the season, right? So it's yeah. like... So Giannis is for sure there. Embiid is for sure there. And then you've got Tatum, Butler, and Jared Allen, and then Siakam. Tatum will probably get in just because he's a Boston Celtic and he's... So it, it it's Jason now Tatum. in the hands of media and mm-hmm. coaches, right? Yes. And players. Yeah. So really, I think... You know, it's it's the Jared Allen. Factor. I don't think Siakam's going. No, I don't think he's going to make it, man. Right? It's I don't tough. think so. It's tough. When you look at guards, DeRozan, of course, is going to be there. Trey Young. Zach Levine's injured, unfortunately, but James Harden. James Harden is going to the All-Star game, buddy. LaMelo Ball. He might go. Kyrie. Kyrie's going. And then Fred. Oh, speaking of LaMelo, this was a, a while ago, but it was since our last podcast. He did that move on the fast break. The through his legs. The alley toss. And I, I thought I'd never seen that before. You have. Jamal Crawford. You're goddamn right. And Jamal Crawford let motherfuckers know, too. He should have. Yeah. As he should have. Because yeah. when I saw that, I was like, I was texting you. I was texting yeah. all my, anyone that watches basketball. I was like, have you seen this before? Have you seen yeah. this before? And then yeah. Jamal Crawford is the answer during the uh, lob years. The and lob city, baby. Makes sense. And... Crawford looked sick as fuck when he did it as well. Yeah, as he always dude. does. He, he still looks fucking awesome, man. Bring yeah. him back. Give him a 10-day. He looks like he's 21 years old still somehow as well. Wild, man. LaMelo oh, Ball. Holy he's uh, very fun. Holy Lord. Do you hear that, Eric Flynn? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed that Fred or Pascal will be there. And, uh, man, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the All-Star I game. Think, I think Fred's going. I, I think, think so. uh, just even Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups was like he's the most underrated guy in the goddamn league. He does everything. That's good. He's got a lot of hype behind him, and he got that Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Yeah, he's got some good momentum. And coaches know, man. The, the coaches are going to send him there. Now, what do you think Fred's going to do in the All Star game? I think he's literally just going to bomb threes. Bomb threes. Yeah. The fucking weird leaning three that he does all the time on in transition. Because we knew Kyle Lowry was going to take charges. Because we're like, he's going to take a charge, man. Mm. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's a good question. Right, so, yeah. so what is Freddie going to do? I'd like to see him just bomb. From or just play goal. fucking hard defense for no reason. LeBron <laughs> gets angry at him. What in God's name are you doing, man? Yeah. Either way, I'm pumped for the All-Star weekend. That'll be fun. Can't wait to see him in one of those terrible jerseys. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> thing four? Four for the thing. Thing four. Okay. This is something I realized in the last week or two watching some games. I don't want to run this by you and get your thoughts because we talked, we just talked about this like earlier, about like why we like watching KD. We like watching clay Steph. You know, there's so many amazing players in the league right now that you like watching, but there's one guy that when he plays the Raptors, I, I have a problem. Like, and I, I love this guy, but like when KD, for instance, plays the Raptors, I'm not like, yo, fuck KD. You know what I mean? You're just yeah. like, oh, it's KD. You know, what are you going to do? Or yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever whoever it is just like oh, yeah that guys that's the guy or whatever you know but there's one dude that i don't know what it is i don't know what happened to me but whenever he plays the raptors i absolutely despise him and that is luka Doncic. whoa dude and he is honestly one of my top five favorite guys to watch any other time but for some reason when he plays the raptors i'm like fuck this guy yeah i don't know what it is well, it's because he's the only guy that's going to beat your team, right? Like on that yeah, team. But even but guys like like even Braun on those Cavalier years was just like we're just like eh, LeBron James. Like you know, I wasn't like I fucking hate this guy. It's because you know? Demar was just paying people money. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To guard him at that time, right? Yeah, but I don't. I have. I don't know what it is, but I just I can't stand the man when he plays the Raptors. Like I, I, I get very agitated. I swear a lot. I don't know what it is, and even the worst was. Last game, the last time we played him, like a week ago or whatever, he, his three was off coming into the game, and then he starts hitting all these threes, and he's like smiling and shit, and I was just like, he, He's a smarmy bastard, you that's why. fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my question to you is, I guess, is do you, is there a guy like that for you in the league? Is there a guy where you're just like, fuck this guy? I hate Chris Middleton. I've, talk, I've, <laughs> I've talked about this to so many people. He also, I'll tell everybody, like, <laughs> I, I, people ask me why you, I'm like, I, do you ever just hate somebody? Like, I don't mm-hmm. like... Like, he makes me mad every time I watch him. 
He doesn't look like he should be as good as he is at basketball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part of it for sure. Yeah. He but doesn't he, look like a basketball player. No. No. And he's very good. Yes. So when he does that, yeah, I get that. Chris Middleton, that's a good answer. That's, uh, that's for me, is like, fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. But I, the, I saw that a lot on Luke. People are like, I, Luca has a punchable face. I saw that. Absolutely does. Yeah. I don't know what. And But again, like when he's playing anyone else, yeah, he's, he's my a, favorite guy. Yeah. I love the man. Yeah. Like that question I just asked you, like, who would you start a team with? I might pick Luca. Yeah. Like that's how much I love that man. And I don't know what it is when he plays the Raptors, but I'm just like, th I fucking hate this guy. Yeah. But I realized it because it's happened to me the last couple of times they played the Mavericks and then this whatever a week ago or whenever they played you just them. get that rage i was in losing you. my goddamn mind and i was like i don't feel this for anybody else just this man yeah yeah but chris middleton is also an excellent answer though yeah i think because you, you got to be good like i don't really mm -hmm. like uh like bobby portis annoys me but i don't he he's it's more like hilarious bro yeah 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 You're hilarious bobby yeah like but that's it, that's your job on the team is to piss people off and fucking get under people's skin and play dirty yeah, yeah, play exactly. hard exactly but it's just so weird because you, you know you want like you watch Giannis or whoever and you're just like oh that's uh, he's awesome it's gonna happen yeah Son gotta guard him better this, than uh, that this sucks you know yeah but I really do like the answer Chris Milden that's good yeah that's what I'm, I'm going with that I've had uh, voice of the podcast Monty can't understand why I'm like I just fucking have irrational hate for this man yeah, that's that's the best way to put it. Irrational hate because it doesn't make sense. But that's Chris Middleton again, though. I get because he does not look like a basketball no. player. He just looks like a I don't even know, man. Like he looks like an accountant from a <laughs> you know what I mean? Or yeah, like yeah. He's, like he should so, have like a button up denim shirt. Tall ass accountant. Yeah, yeah he comes in from IT. He's like, hey, guys, I heard your fucking laptop's freezing or something. I'm like, oh, fuck, Chris. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then he's torches your team i'm just gonna take control of your device here if that's all right <laughs> can you you don't got anything open i shouldn't see do you hey mister thing five the burger challenge Woo! the diamond of every episode <laughs> week two this i mean again your expertise is leading the journey yep we started off with rudy's that is your overall number one burger in the city yes that was last week and it was incredible mm -hmm. absolutely incredible i understand why it's your number one this week we went with your number two. Is that fair to say? Yeah, number two. I mean, they're they're right there. They're right there, and, and uh, as you saw. Okay, Maddie's Patties. Maddie's Patties. Maddie Matheson's Burger uh, Spot. The legendary Maddie Matheson. It's it's nice. It's nice to add a bit of a celebrity tinge to the uh, yeah. burger rankings. Yeah, that's fun. And it's cool when you're like a a big time chef, and you're like, Nah, I'm gonna do burgers, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna do like a fancy restaurant. I'm gonna do a whole no all burger spot. So we got the double patty cheeseburger, as we you know are trying yep. to say double cheeseburgers consistent with double cheeseburgers. Came with the Matty sauce, the Matty Patty sauce, the MP patty sauce, sauce, yeah, which is a, a mustard based sauce. I actually have watched it on YouTube how to make that. <laughs> of course you did. Yeah, I'm, uh... of course you did. <laughs> and then uh, the bun, sesame seed bun. And and they didn't short out on fucking sesame seeds either, buddy. A lot of sesame seeds on this bun. Covered from Thorough. tip to tip. Thorough sesame seed coverage. Uh, uh, we'll open with you. What what are your thoughts? How did Maddie's... It's a goddamn amazing burger. I uh, absolutely love it. And here, this is this is where it gets crazy. This is how you know it's a good burger. Because in the Maddie Patty sauce, uh, the mustard-based Maddie Patty sauce, are onions and diced pickles mm. in the sauce. Interesting. And as you know... You're not a pickle guy. As the listeners on this podcast fucking know, I'm not a, not a pickle guy, but when done like that. Just to add to that, I'm not an onions guy. Woo! And I thoroughly enjoyed this hamburger. Mm hmm Compared to Rudy's now, it was a bit bigger. Yep. I liked the sesame seed bun better than the Rudy bun. Mm-hmm. No lettuce, no tomato. No. Dude, overall, I might have to give it to Maddie. I'm right? not. Hey, listen, man. I'm not mad at that at all. Okay. All right. That's big. I am not mad at that at all. This is the first week where we've actually got a ranking. So we'll go Maddie's one. We'll do, we'll do it. Yeah. And and because it's I, they're right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's 1A, one 1B. They're, they're real close there. And the, Both the, extremely good. I think. That could come down to tiebreakers for, for other things on the menu, if need be. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That's fair. Maddie Patty's got different. They, they got the Maddie which is like a thick fucking burger. Amazing. Punch all their stuff. They also did the different sauces. They have the jalapeno mayo, the spicy ketchup. 
Okay. I for me I would say the the small tiebreaker things with with for the Maddies is the size is a bit bigger for mm-hmm. Maddies. The bun I like better. And I just think overall taste was slightly better, not much, slightly. I think the mix of meat that they use in the burger is uh at a higher standard than uh whoa than Rudy Burgers. Whoa. Yeah. Because okay. right. he, he, like, Rudy is way more smashed than the Matty Patties is. You know what I mean? Well, That's a lot, true. A lot thinner, a, lot, a little crispier. That's true. And his is kind of like, like it was pink in the center. I don't know if you looked, but yeah, like medium rare in the middle. It was amazing. Get, so we'll give the slight edge to Matty's right now. Yeah. It's 1A, 1B. Wow. Matty's Patties is 1A. I can't, that, that fucking burger was, was amazing, man. It was great. It was great. And the other thing, too, is, so we, like, I picked them up on the way here. It's snowing, like, it apparently always does in Toronto now. Yeah. So it was a bit hectic. It was a bit slow getting there. So I got there, like, 10 minutes after the order was scheduled to be picked up. They've got, like, a little convection oven thing that they keep to-go orders in. So by the time I got here, still warm. It was still warm and nice. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There it is. 1A, 1B. Maddie's Patties in a a 1A. 1A. And then one B, Rudy's. You got your Rudy's, and it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be this. I don't know, man. I'm telling you right now, this it's gonna be. It might be like that for the whole season. It's gonna be tough. We got we got some good ones, but it is gonna be tough for someone to take that out. Yeah, it's, it's they're amazing. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Maddie's Patty's Burger Club. Yes, they got beer there too. They do. Yeah, yeah. And they've also got some local beers. I noticed it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, weird like IPAs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Lo- oh, you should mention located Queen West just across from Trinity Bellwoods. Yeah. So. Get yourself a Maddie Patty. Go fucking freeze your ass off in Trinity <laughs> Bellwoods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it's summertime, you, you watch the cops on horseback beat the shit out of the, the homeless people. The yeah. Homeless people. Well, yeah. Me and my girlfriend, uh, that, that was our date. <laughs> Go watch some Heck clear, city. clear encampments and fucking cry over a burger. <laughs> what has the world come to? Uh, I'll have this uh, IPA. Yeah, sure, I will. <laughs> Cops are too busy doing other things uh, <laughs> to arrest me for drinking in a park. That's for sure. Absolutely. You're listening to Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. You know, as you and I get older, it's not easy being a man. No, especially if we're eating burgers every week. No, that doesn't help either. But fortunately, if we want to get to the top of our game, we just head over to Jack Health. Jack.health is the website. It's an online men's health service that does everything for you, so you don't even need to leave the house. Stay right at home. Who wants to leave the house with weather like this? Absolutely not. Jack.health. It's got nationwide shipping, and you can use your private or public health insurance. Now, what does Jack Health offer? Well, I mean, they've got pretty much everything covered. From uh, head to toe. Absolutely. They've got treatments for sexual health. you got your daily health stuff. As well as skin and hair products. Yeah. You're looking to hang on to that uh, head of lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Jack.health is the place to go. That's right. If you do need some of these things, it can be kind of awkward. Maybe you don't want to ask your doctor. You know, maybe you don't want to talk about it. You head over onto Jack.health. It's discreet, privacy, and easy for every customer. From the comfort of your home. You don't have to leave your home. Again. And it's it's free and discreet delivery. So how does it work? Well, basically, it's digital healthcare without the long wait time. So you go, first things first, you select your treatment. Choose from a bunch of products, starter kits, subscription plans, whatever you want. Then number two, you complete your free online visit. Just to answer a few questions about yourself. The doctor will let you know what works best. And then three, free and discreet delivery. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. Problem solved. Whatever your problem is. Whatever your problem is. Absolutely. Head on over to Jack.Health. Talking Raptors on Raptors Republic. Thing six, many tricks. Twitter questions. Thanks to the three people who... Little little light this week, guys. quiet. What happened? quiet on the feed. Are we shadow banned on Twitter? Something. Something's going on. Eric Flynn took us down. (laughs) We've got a couple questions, so thank you. To the ones who did hit yeah, us up. Yeah, I appreciate you for doing that. Thank you, guys. I am Scoot. Dynamite Scott is the handle. He says, torn between two timelines. Should Masai and Bobby A make a move this or next season to capitalize on the Fred Pascal All-Star duel or B 
Save up assets in preparation for a more mature Scotty a few years away. I'm going A. Yeah. You got you gotta go out. You, we you got, got the guys now, man. Scott, Scotty is not that far away no. from being a number three or number four, right? Like Listen, you build We the need core. him to be a number four. Yes. But they built the core, they spent the money on it, and now it's working. Yeah. No time to bail. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But good question. And it will be interesting to see how fast Scotty develops. You know? Yeah. And it will be interesting to see what we do because trade deadlines soon. And uh, we're going to know. We're going to have the answer. <laughs> we're going to have the answer in a couple of weeks what this franchise is doing, to be honest. Josh Flowers. How much bathtub hooch do we need the Brooklyn Nets to drink to trade us Harden for Boucher, Gary Trent Jr., and Goran Dragic? A cup, a bottle, the whole tub. Did you see today that Daryl Morey is saying they're holding out until the offseason because they want to... They want James Harden, and they think Ben Simmons might be involved in that deal. Okay. So he's like, basically he's saying the Sixers really want James Harden. They're going to take a run at him, and they think they might incorporate the Ben Simmons trade with that somehow. Hmm. That could be interesting. Yeah, that would be fucking crazy. Ben Simmons could probably do well on Brooklyn, actually. I think Ben Simmons would do well anywhere. You know, <laughs> do pretty pretty goddamn good on the 76ers, actually. I think he would... <laughs> He would do really good on the 76ers, I think. Uh, Fair. Probably his his uh, best suited for that role is right where, where you won't let him play. That's fair. On Brooklyn, though, it'd be great because he literally doesn't have to shoot the ball ever. He's got KD and... Uh, and Kyrie. Kyrie and Patty Mills, who's out yeah. the fucking Yeah, and I think game. Joe Harris is hurt right now, right? So yeah, he's still hurt, yeah. Oh, and what do we have to do to get them to trade us? That's, a, that's more than a bathtub. I think we'd have to... But we, we'd have to kill them, I think. Yeah. And then forge the signature or something. Yeah, Harden would have to have a, a baby with a Canadian stripper. I think that's the only way that's, that's going to happen. <laughs> Boardman gets paid. Jimmy Deluxe. Is Kyle statue outside of Scotia going to be him holding back <laughs> Fred Van Vliet? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. And uh, no, they're just going to have side-by-side statues. Or they have the one like... Uh, like um, in Lion King when they raise Simba up, uh, it's, just, <laughs> uh, it's it's Kyle raising Fred up. Holy shit, that's good. It's a Pride Rock. That's very funny. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I like that. I don't think that's a good statue, man. It'd be cool if they did, because you know how the Leafs one they have like the bench in that. They should have. Uh, I'll be, we've been saying this. Like you gotta have a bench. I mean, now we actually have people like that we can put on this. Hundred uh, percent. You start it with Masai. Yes. Standing. And then you, Kyle's first. Yeah. And Fred. That's good. Pascal is going to be there. Yep. Maybe DeMar. Maybe DeMar. <laughs> Maybe Kawhi. Whoa. Maybe Vince. Whoa. That depends on how much you get the copper for, Barry. What's, <laughs> how, how cheap is the bronze that we, we got? How much more we had leftovers? We... I'm definitely in on Masai Jerry and, of course, Kyle Lowry and Fred. And Van Fred. Reed. And Pascal. And Pascal. And then we'll. Oh, and then I said maybe for the rest of them. We'll go, we'll go from there. We'll let those ones get made first and then see how much room we got left on the bench. Yeah. Because by that point, maybe we're, the Scotty one's going to be next, you know? That's true. Well, short but sweet for Twitter questions. I like it. It's not, I'm not mad at it. It's okay. We had a lot of burger talk. Thanks to those who hit us up and thanks to those who uh, often hit us up on Twitter, at Talking Raptors. That's pretty much going to wrap it up. For those who stick around after the extra, though, I forgot to mention, we're going to do the Comedy Records Showcase We're again, bringing it back, baby. Where we'll uh, play a little clip from an album from one of our comics, and you can check them out. But that's coming up. But for now, that'll wrap up the podcast. Thanks to everybody for listening, for checking us out, and just for the general support. Appreciate that. Big time. S- still feeling good, you know? Yeah. Despite the losses. Gonna be Despite a that road trip. Hell of a week between this podcast and the next one. A lot of... A lot will be shown. It's pretty entertaining. I gotta say that. Yeah. Get, we're getting into the soap opera part of the season. Yeah. Shout out to Eric Flynn for fucking starting the fire. <laughs> Giving us some goddamn comment for the dog days of January. Let's go Raptors. Okay, hey, thanks for sticking around for the comedy records portion of Talking Raptors. We're going to go back to an oldie but a goodie. We featured him before on the podcast, or featured the album before on the podcast. He's always featured 
on the podcast because he is in fact the voice of said podcast monty scott is one of the funniest men on the planet juno nominee juno nominee his album the abyss stares back was nominated for the 2020 comedy album of the year at the juno awards and it's a straight banger it's honestly one of the one of the funniest um albums i've i've literally ever heard and that there's a lot of comics um especially younger ones you get to go on the road with them and they you know they uh they ask him like you know who are your favorite comics and monty scott's always yep. one of my first answers is monty scott yep and um and his album it's i i cannot stress enough please go listen to this full album it's so goddamn funny yeah it's on all the platforms spotify apple music youtube music wherever you stream music whatever check it out it is called the abyss stares back front to back it is just a absolute glorious piece of comedy so from the album the abyss stares back here is monty scott on the comedy record segment on talking raptors i tell you what I, i'm not a big olympic fan um because i just honestly think they're making up events at this point <laughs> they had ducked out goose in the last olympics i think they just don't even give a goddamn i think they're making up events so that white people can keep competing in the olympics it's for the greatest athlete in the world to ever they have sailing in in the olympics it's for the greatest athlete in the world to have ever owned a sailboat <laughs> from his childhood. <laughs> like, who is that guy? I'm like, well, you don't seem very athletic. Well, you haven't seen me on my yacht. <laughs> I get on my yacht, I start making margaritas. I put on the captain's hat, I'm king of the world, but I get on the yacht. <laughs> I, uh, one event I couldn't believe with my own eyes, something called the two-man luge. Now you might think in your mind's eye that two-man luge is a couple of luges tied together with a couple of guys fighting with a soap and a sock. I hope maybe uh, a Mad Max style event. No. To my surprise, the two-man luge is uh, one man on a luge and then another man on top of that fucking man. It's, just, it's a man on a man on a luge. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. I thought I was having an acid flashback. Like it seems like too many legs. That couldn't be a man on a man on a luge. Am I having a heart attack? Like, who invented that event? The guy who got cut from the luge team? <laughs> like, yo, Ricky, you're not gonna make the luge team this year. Well, what about if I put a dude on top of me? <laughs> Is that a different event? I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. That's definitely a different sport. Like, <laughs> Most Olympic events have an original activity that starts it, like the javelin is like hunting in the savannah back in the day. Wrestling is, I don't know, at some point you're always gonna wrestle a fucking guy. <laughs> what possible activity prompted the two-man luge? Was the top of a mountain on fire? Two guys and only one sled? <laughs> All right, buddy, there's only one way off this mountain. <laughs> And it's gay as fuck. <laughs> Should have called that event Escape from Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Does the guy on the bottom has a, get a bronze for not getting an erection? Because he's the straightest man alive, for Christ's sake. He's, he's just got an ass bouncer on his dick for two minutes. <laughs> and then he's got to stand up in a skin-tight outfit. to show the world how straight he is. <laughs> that is the highest risk event of all time. Are you kidding me? I don't think I'm straight enough for the fucking two-man luge. <laughs> Just going down a mountain thinking about baseball the whole way, like, oh my fuck. Why did this guy do all these squats in the off season? <laughs> Stupid, sexy Flanders. <laughs> times you know the guy on the bottom doesn't even know he's going down a mountain because there's a man on top of him to be his only job is to pull the brake the guy on the top's like yo buddy it's over just pull the fucking brake he could practice that shit at home on a couch just have a dude bounce around on him for two minutes have the bell go off and be like you didn't jizz again you're the greatest of all time you're the michael jordan of this sport 